You, what's up everybody and welcome to the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. I'm one of your commentators, Joshua Wojcik, aka Hex Phenom, and I am joined by my esteemed co-host, Tyler. Tyler, welcome to SummerSlam. It is damn good to be here. We are at SummerSlam, like you said, biggest party of the summer. And of course, this year we're starting with a bang. We gotta do SummerSlam, we have to. Yes, we are super, super excited to be here with you guys tonight on the very first episode of the series. And we've got a jam-packed night for you all. I hope you're excited. Get a drink, get a snack ready, because it's going to be one hell of a party. Tyler. Yes. If you can believe it, we've got nine matchups here tonight. And every single one is for a championship. Aim a better way to start out this year. You can't. You can't. I can't think of one. I'm going to let you guys know about what's going on on the Raw side of things. First up, we've got the World Tag Team Championship on the line. Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, your champions, defending against the unlikely duo of Cody Rhodes and Finn Balor. They're a team that was thrown together by the anonymous Raw General Manager. And... You know, Finn Balor, he's Mr. Money in the Bank. Cody Rhodes, he's hes trying to finish his story, but... And disclaimer, yes, <laughs> there's an anonymous Raw GM. <laughs> that stupid thing is back. Cody Rhodes, he's trying to find his way here in the WWE. He's trying to finish his story. We'll see how they can coexist here tonight. Uh, next up, your United States Championship is on the line. Carmelo Hayes, your champion, defends against... The YouTube sensation, I wouldn't call him that, but Logan Paul is here tonight looking to pick up that United States Championship match in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Their rivalry has been heated on social media over the past couple of weeks. Then in your Women's Championship, we have your champion Raquel Rodriguez defending the Women's World Championship against Liv Morgan, two former best friends turned enemies. Uh, that'll be an interesting one to watch out for. And your main event from the Raw side of things, we've got your World Heavyweight Champion, Gunta, defending against the debuting his first pay-per-view, or premium live event, whatever the hell you want to call it, on the main roster. We've got Braun Breaker, debuting for the first time, or making his pay-per-view debut, I should say, here tonight. Can he pick up the World Heavyweight Championship on his first ever pay-per-view appearance? Now Josh, you know I love me some of those X guys. Some of those X guys. You know I'm a big NXT guy. I'm a big Braun Breaker fan. You know damn well I'm going to make sure that my eyes are glued to that match every single second. I'm not going to blink. I need to watch it. Braun Breaker, I'm pulling for him. And I think most of the audience is too, but we'll see what happens. But Tyler... Would you like to tell us about what's going on on the SmackDown side of things? Of course I would. Now, before we get into Strictly SmackDown, there's one little one little match we have to get in the middle for. Now, granted, it is two SmackDown teams, but you'll see what I mean by right in the middle because the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships, excuse me, <coughs> sorry about that, they can be defended on both Raw, SmackDown, hell, they can even go down to NXT, but tonight... The champions, Becky Lynch and Shotzi, will defend against The Way, Candice LeRae, and Indy Hartwell. Now, as for the specifically SmackDown championships, we have the Intercontinental Championship, when that crazy, abnormal, lunatic Joe Gacy defends against the man who is just one championship away, the Intercontinental Championship away from winning it all, the Celtic warrior Sheamus. Sheamus has won every title. He's the Royal Rumble winner, King of the Ring, Money in the Bank. One thing that has eluded him, the Intercontinental Championship. That's your Intercontinental Championship match. Then we have the Tag Team Championships. We have Austin Theory and Grayson Wallaby. Waller. Grayson Wallaby. Grayson Wallaby. Grayson Waller, we'll get serious here. They will defend against... They are, they are, they are D-I-Y, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. We have the Women's Championship match. Nikita Lyons, she's been on fire as champion, but 
Tonight will be her biggest test when she faces mommy herself, Rhea Ripley. And then we have the WWE Championship. Who can put an end to Roman's reign? You saw what I did there. I see what you did there. Well, there may be an answer. Someone who was close a few years ago of doing so. He could have done it. This could be his night. Because Drew McIntyre will challenge Roman Reigns for the WWE Championship tonight. Could this be the night that Roman's reign ends, or will it continue? You're going to have to watch to find out. A little clash at the castle rematch. Can't complain about that. Absolutely. But, guys, it's the biggest party of the summer. It's jam-packed. We're going to get into it in just a second. But first, we would like to thank Ram Jam for the song Black Betty, we all know it, we all love it, and it is your official theme song of SummerSlam. You can stream it on Spotify and get it wherever CDs are sold. I'm rocking out right now. Woo, Black Betty, bam, bam, woo. I don't know what that you was. You good? You all right? Am I ever good? Yeah. I have to be good. You want to know why? You want to know why I have to be good? Why you have to be good? Why everybody has to be good? Because Santa Claus is coming to town. How'd you do that? Because it's SummerSlam, that's why. All right, guys. Well, let's get into your opening matchup. And we are going to start with the World Tag Team Championship match. Cody Rhodes and Finn Balor take on the OC. And that match starts right now. That's what it's all about. The WWE World Tag Team Championships are on the line here tonight. I gotta wonder, is there gonna be any kind of animus? What the hell are you wearing? When did you change? What do you mean? I was wearing this the whole time. What is it? What? what? Yeah. I... I... This is my party attire. I, 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 this tag team match is underway. I, the biggest party of the summer starts right now. The biggest mystery is where, when did you change it? That? What, what are you wearing? This is my party attire. I told you. I always come prepared for a party. Anyway. Gallows and Rhodes starting things off here. Trying to get the better of each other at the start of the match. Now what I was going to try to ask was there's is there going to be kind of any animosity or anything because we all know the history between Gallows Anderson and Balor it's very true very true in comes the machine gun himself Carl Anderson comes into the match for the first time looking to pick up the victory over Cody double team neck breaker oh immediate kick out immediate kick out Cody isn't going to go down that easy Looking for a little combination and planting his head into the ground. And is that enough to put away Anderson? And oh, he got a one. That's no good. But it was a nice punch. Oh, Anderson reversal, reversal by Anderson. Up and cut. Beautiful. Ballard wanting that tag, but Carl's not letting it happen. Good chop. Good, good combination there by Anderson. And a super kick right to the side of the jaw. That is too sweet. OC just cutting off the ring now. Smart strategy. Cody trying to fight back. Running bulldog. That. Cody up to the middle rope. A little middle rope action. I mean, it's the end of Cody. And Anderson. Oof. Right to the trying leg. to focus on that knee. Oh, yeah. and again. <laughs> You see Cody's knees buckled when that second one hit. Oh, maybe regretting a little. Ah, stopping Cody. Stopping Cody from getting the tag. Let him get a little too close there. Oh, oh. oh cheap shot. Ran right into the forearm of Gallows. Is that enough to put away Cody Rhodes? Mm. Kick out. Both men's partners coming in. And we have to talk about the fact that, you know, Cody Rhodes and Finn Balor 
Not the not the typical pairing that you would see, but this match was set up by our anonymous Raw general manager. Uh, we don't really know why yet, but... <clears throat> I mean, I don't know why we're going through that again. I mean... We, we all know it was Hornswoggle, and then all of a sudden it came back, like, a few months later. Just... So it wasn't not Hornswoggle? Maybe it still is Hornswoggle. I, Maybe it is right now. Maybe Hornswoggle's calling the shots. On oh, Raw. somebody better check under the ring then. That's a good point. That's a good point. But we'll see what the anonymous Raw general manager has in store for us. I mean, like I said, the, the pairing of Cody and Finn, it's a weird one, but I'm not against it either. But we'll see how they can work together. Is that enough to put away Carl Anderson? One, two, no. Not yet. Oh, he's looking a step towards Finn, but Carl scouted it. Super smart move there. Finn even going to get into this match. Finn has been cut off from his partner. And back in comes a fresh gallows. Big boot to the gut and a right throat chop. Throat. Is that enough to put away Rhodes? The one, the two. No. Gal was surprised by it. Getting him up. Going for. And a pump and no Oof. drop. And the OC have individually targeted Rhodes and Balor over the last couple of weeks. That's pretty much why the, the anonymous Rod GM threw this match together. Cody finally able to reverse. Now, oh, oh, colliding with the referee almost. Not tagging Finn in. That's surprising. And there we go. Wanted to get his last couple, last couple punches in, and now in comes Finn Balor, freshest man in the match. Trying to take out Gallows at his knees. Not a bad idea. Oh. Ooh. Right to the side of the head. Oh, but Balor. Chop. And a chop back for Fighting him. for his life here. No. No. Ooh. Gallows elbow first into the corner. And Finn explodes with a forearm smash. Now Finn throwing him to the corner. A chop. Oh, sending him outside. What are we going to see? Triangle <laughs> drop kick sends Gallows down to the outside of the ring. Gallows is down. Oop. Oh, maybe Finn psyching him out. And oh, oh. Oh. just launching himself over the top rope, pushing the air out of him. Now, what's Balor going to do here? Calling for Gallows to get up. Oh! Missing him. Gallows finally know what's going on. Oh my god, right into the barricade. Count of six now. Seven. Now, oh, Gallows ain't done. Breaking the count. Oh, and a big double axe handle smash from Gallows. Now, gonna put him back on the board. Barricade, whatever you want to call it. Oh, what's it going to do? Uh, hanging yep. him right over. Oh, and a big boot right to the side of the head. Gal's going back in. Been Finn right chasing him. after him. And Oh, both men colliding with each other. Finn. Going for the pin. Can we get... No. no. Broken up right by... There. Broken up by Anderson. Now Gallo's trying to crawl towards him. Gotta wonder, are we gonna see new champions? Could be possible. The OC have been on a on a fairly dominant run here, but they're definitely not untouchable. And finally, some teamwork between the two of Rhodes and Balor. Is that enough to put away Dude. Gallows? No. Just barely able to get the shoulder up. Now Cody lifting him up for a suplex. Oof. 
No easy feat. Oh, trying to get rid of Anderson, but it didn't work. And now Gallows rolls out in the ring. Trying to take some time to reset. Now, oh, just tripping him. Tripping him, pulling Cody right out of the ring. Hey, what's he doing? Wait, and wait. What the hell? Ah, he just got disqualified. What the hell? You mean it? It's the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. We're going to start out with a bang, and then Gallows wants to basically end the first match literally with a bang, a steel chair? I don't, I don't like that. I don't. Well, Finn and, Finn and Cody win, but Gallows and Anderson retain the titles. Yeah, that's that's an unfortunate way to start off the biggest party of the summer. I think Gallows and Anderson underestimated the the team of Finn and Cody. And oh, what's this? Tyler, we're getting a message from the anonymous Raw General Manager. No, we don't. You don't have to. Well, before I was rudely interrupted, as I quote, Gallows and Anderson are a bunch of cowards. They will not get away with disqualifying themselves in this matchup. I am hereby restarting the match. All right, it pays off this one time. The biggest party of the summer rocks on, and we're going to get this match restarted. All righty, back at it like a bad habit. Round two, fight. Oh. Cody and Gallo starting it off again. And oh, crossroads, no. Ooh, the strength of Cody. To lift Gallows up like that, is that enough to put him away? No, uh -huh. kick out at one. This is the one time I'll let that whole freaking anonymous GM thing go. And now... Blind Squirrel finds a nut. Rhodes trying to fight back. He knows he's got an extra chance at this tag team title. Ooh. Beautiful combination, though, by Gallows. Watch if Cody can get the Ooh. ropes. Oh! Cody oh. Rhodes is fired up. Not even a one count. And again, focusing on the arm and a oh. running bulldog. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's pissed. Air shot must have just pumped him over the adrenaline at this point in his soul. Something, something, Cody Rhodes. Exactly. Oh, headed up to the, the top. That's an interesting maneuver. Oh! But Gallo's going to take advantage off of the distraction by Anderson. Oh, oh, my God. Super kick. That's like a super, super kick. But Cody super kicks kick. out again. I don't even know what count. Oh, whoa. He's mad. Ooh. Big mad. What's Cody doing? Cody's getting Thank himself you. hyped up. I think he went near the chair that's still out there. Uh, oh! oh. And that slingshot kick. disaster kick. But a big knee from Anderson. And, God, flying shoulder tackle. Oh, a kick right to that knee. Uppercut. Another one right to the throat again. And that sends Cody down. Now, throwing him to the rope. No! What are we going to see? Cody looking for a pedigree. pedigree! Is that enough to put away Gallows? Dude, no. no! Oh, Finn taking him, taking Anderson right down. Now, to the corner. In with the tag. What are we going to see? Some more teamwork. Oof. Double shoulder tackle. Is that enough to put away Gallows? One, two. Mm -mm. No. And doesn't even believe it. Come on, Cody. Get out of the ring. Get out of the ring. Get right to the face. I've been working on the leg. Good strategy. Take out Gallows at his base. Yeah. Blocking and now Gallows taking Finn. 
Back to his corner. In comes Anderson. Now another neck breaker. Oh. Yes. Is that enough to put away Finn? I think it can. No. Be. Immediate kick out. Finn and Cody are fired up here. Now, I thought he was going for a jawbreaker. Running forearm. And, oh, ah! my God. Basically scraping his forehead. Then getting him back up. Into the corner. Are we going to yeah. see it? Oh, going for that drop kick. The yes. drop kick into the turnbuckle. Is that enough to put away Anderson? I think so. One, two. No. Barely kicking out. What the hell? Oh, Finn's feeling it. Anderson's starting to get up. Oh, my God. Roll. And the distraction from Gallows. Oh. Roll up. Gonna get the cheap and easy victory. One, two. Ooh, oh. Oh. Finn reverses it. One, two. No. no. Oh. Oh. oh, look. One, two. No. no. What a combination. Now, Finn. Whoa. Tripping him right down. Now, oh. oh, again. Inside cradle. Come on, ref. Do your job. One, two. <laughs> no. <laughs> what the hell? Something's gotta give. Now. Oh. Cheap shot to Cody. Cheap shot after cheap shot. Now. I was just unloading on Finn, but now Finn, he's getting the upper hand. Another trip. Oh, right into oh, the stomach. Right into the stomach. Now Cody back in. In comes Rhodes. With Cody thinking. Oh! And a running bulldog. bulldog. And oh! Preventing the hot tag. Smart move. Anderson's by oh. himself. <laughs> Bionic elbow. Now Finn getting the tag. Back in comes Finn. Oh no. Are we gonna see? This is it. Coup de gras. <laughs> is that enough to end the match? That's it. One, two, two, three. Champs. What a way to kick off the biggest party of the summer. New tag team champions. I didn't think it would happen. I didn't think it would happen. We saw some less than ideal teamwork between the two of them at the beginning of the match if we're honest but they got through it they figured out how to work together and now they are your new world tag team champions it's off to them that's how you start out the biggest party of the summer what a great way to start things off and guys we are just getting started are we now that's yeah because that was the first yeah. match. Yeah. 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 Dummy. Yeah. 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 Dummy. Yeah. 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 But. Yeah. Tyler, we've got more matches coming up next. The Intercontinental Championship is on the line. Can Sheamus win the title for the very first time in his illustrious WWE career, become a Grand Slam champion. That's what we're going to find out here in just a few moments. Joe Gacy defends against Sheamus right now. Oh, oh. Joe Gacy with a little bro kick, kick of his own. Of course, he's no master at it. That's why Sheamus is able to get right back up. But Joe Gacy trying to end things early. Is that enough to put Sheamus away? No. Immediate kick out. It's not. It's not enough to put Sheamus away. Now Sheamus. Sheamus is pissed. His own fury of attacks here. Or flurry, rather. There's no flurries here. It's the biggest party of the summer. You know what I meant. Snap into a Slim Jim. I miss those old Slim Jim commercials. I miss Slim Jims in general. The food. Like, I know they still exist. But, like, yeah. I'm hungry is what I'm trying to tell you. 
Room service, we need uh, we need some food up in ya. They're not gonna let us eat on commentary. They're a bunch of cowards. They could. Now Seamus with the cover. One. A little two. slow count from the ref there, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. Seamus getting mad already. I know he's got red hair, but Seamus can't get hot headed in this matchup. He's gonna be he a hot potato. Can't lose. Fo that's funny. It is kind of funny. Gazy. Joe Gazy went oh. out trying for that bro kick again. I don't think he got all of it. Now, Seamus. Oh. Tripping him right up. Gacy rolling out, doing the smart thing. Trying to catch a breather, but Seamus is in pursuit. I don't think he sees him. Yeah, Double axe down. handle smash. Seamus wants him up. Oh my <laughs> god. Put Back all of his weight behind that one. Jameis taking Gacy right into the steps. Jameis means business. It's the one thing that's eluded Oof. in the Intercontinental Championship. But he can't lose focus. He can't lose sight. And that damn broke kick again. Oh my oh. god. Absolutely putting it all on the line here. Gacy gets back in the ring. Seamus right behind him, though. Oh, oh what is oh, this? This is gonna this is gonna break the count, but oh, oh, it, oh my oh. god! And a DDT drops Seamus right on his head. Seamus right not, up! Oh my oh, god! Oh, oh. I think he landed face first on the steps. I couldn't tell from that camera angle, but now Gacy right up. Oh. What the hell? You are just. Freaking psychotic at this point. What the hell got into both of these guys backstage? Because Cody Rhodes isn't the only one with adrenaline in his soul. Something, something, Joe Gacy. De Moose. Oh. Oh. Big backbreaker. The backbreaker. Seamus. What the hell is Seamus doing? It's not every day you see Sheamus up on the top rope. And oh, oh my <laughs> god, and a diving clothesline of his own. A little payback from earlier. And one, two. No. Oh. <laughs> that was real close. Sheamus can't believe that he kicked out in time. Now Oof. DDT. A little revenge for that apron DDT. Tyler, did you know that the apron is the hardest part of the ring? I do. Did you know that? Oh. Not a lot of people know that, I feel like. Joe Gacy. He's winded. He's wounded. But kick. Speaking of wounded. Playing these mind games at this point with Seamus. I think. Seamus' hair isn't the only red on his face right now. I think he's been busted open. A good call before with the ref. Seeing Seamus' feet under the ropes. Ooh. No. Seamus. Seamus has got a pretty big gash on his now, face with ow. another backbreaker. Seamus has had back issues before. Gacy doing the smart oh. thing, targeting. Oh. Seamus, though, and tossing him right down. Oh, is he calling for a brogue kick? Oh, no. Not yet. Going no. For a little white noise. White noise. <laughs> is that enough to put away... The Gase Man. One, two, no. no. Call him the Gase Man. Yeah. Nobody calls him that. I do. Uh, that's you. Me and Joe Gacy, we go way back. We're like this. I don't know. I could tell you his middle name right now. Oh. Seamus wanted something. You want me to? You want me to tell you his middle name? What's his middle name? Bartholomew. I don't know about that. Joe Bartholomew Gacy. The third junior. Like Billiam William. Just like him, just like Billy Billiam William. Him is getting Joe back into the ring. And oh! Reversal of the bro kick. My God, Seamus is on fire! And not only that. I don't know what I was going to say. 
Are we going to try to say something about his hair again? No. Didn't maybe, work out. Maybe you just want his hair. Honestly, I think I would look good. With uh, with the red spiky hair and a goatee. On no! Oh my god. Is he wondering what he's got to do? Get hell up here. Oh, oh my god! Now Seamus trying to get out? No. What the hell is Gacy doing? No. Oh. Nope. No. Oh. Now Seamus sending him in. And. Oh, what a tilt a whirl backbreaker. Going for a pin. Is that enough to put away the Gacy man? <laughs> oh my god, no. Seamus is exhausted. I think both men are. Oh! Ooh, another punch. Is he sending him into the ropes? Oh. No. Seamus. Bro kick. kick! Is this it? Is this enough to put away Joe Gazy? Yes! Seamus! The Irish. I don't even know. He's the Celtic warrior. I don't even know what I was going to say, but the the I was going to say the Irish curse is over. Sheamus is now your intercontinental champion for the very first time in his career. And what a great moment. Sheamus now a Grand Slam champion. And you can say he's done. He's he's done the full house. He's the Grand Slam champion, King of the Ring. Money in the Bank, Royal Rumble. He's done it all. That also makes him a triple crown winner, no? Well, I mean, he was already a triple crown. Well, no, I mean, not tonight, but he already was. So now he's a now he's a triple crown and a grand slam. He's got three crowns, four home runs. What a guy. I don't watch sports. You watch wrestling. Sports entertainment. Uh, tomato, tomato, you know? You would think you'd say potato, potato, because we just saw Seamus. <sighs> yeah, it was a missed opportunity, to be fair. But, big congratulations to Seamus. We love to see that, and it's fitting that he's now a Grand Slam champion at SummerSlam. Very fitting. Very fitting indeed. But guys, we've got more matches coming up next. All right, your United States champion Carmelo Hayes defends the title against Logan Paul Big in new. a Falls Count Anywhere matchup. Melo, don't miss. Let's see what happens. That starts now. Both oh. men firing out of the corner. And a big DDT plants Logan Paul right on the top of his head. Do it again. Mello coming out of the gate, swinging up to the top rope. Oh, oh. Paul catches him out of the air. Now just carrying him around. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh my God. And this match already goes to the outside. Oh my god! Oh, oh! Expect something like that to happen. And as much as I don't like Logan Paul, I can't I can't not admit that his athleticism is something that we see out of very few superstars. Yep. Oh, oh roll up. Looking for a roll up, looking to get the easy victory. Handful of tights, no. Yep. Oh. Into the announce table. Now. Oh. oh the roll, no. Oh, get back. Ooh. <laughs> Catching him off guard there. Nice move by Mello. And right. Ah. Gut first into the steel steps. Oh, Logan's in trouble. Oof. I like to see it. Shoulder first into the barricade. Ooh, rolling out of the way. Oof, but Logan with a big clothesline. Now, Ooh. jumping neck breaker. 
and you got to think realistically speaking we can talk about Logan Paul and his athleticism all you want but it doesn't change the fact that he is first and foremost a YouTuber a content creator whatever you want to call him an influencer what kind of embarrassment would it be if Logan Paul beats Carmelo Hayes for the U.S. title here tonight? That'd be a sheer, sheer, huge, really big embarrassment, especially for that championship. Yeah, work in the neck. You like to see it. Work in the neck of Logan Paul. That cameraman literally right next to them. I think so. He's really getting a close-up shot of the action here. And oh, <laughs> legs just hitting the steel steps. Just quite a quite a great camera angle here. Okay, we've, we're switching it up. Now we, wait now we have a top-down camera view, a cameraman hanging from the ceiling. Oh. And he didn't quite get all of that, but he still knocked down Logan. Hayes back to his feet. Oh, oh no, what's he looking for? Looking to introduce the first weapon in this matchup. Oh, no. Logan throws it out of the way. Oh, not this camera guy again. Oh, and the, the something seems to have gone wrong with the with the chair there. Um, let's just uh. And Logan. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. A little revenge from last time. Is that chair okay? I don't think so. Let's uh, let's uh. Yeah, okay. Hey, we fixed oh, it. Oof. To the gut. To the leg. Oh, just throwing it down on his face. Now, knee to the face. Up. Back onto the apron. Up top now, what are we going to see from Carmelo? Hey, he's a frog oh. splash. Beautifully executed. Mello, what's he looking for now? A little kendo stick action. Logan, Calling for down. Logan to get up. Oh! oh. Little souvenir for you. Oh. Carmelo said, Welcome to the WWE, Logan Paul. Oh. oh, his head just hit the chair. Oh my god. A Logan with the kendo stick. Logan Paul looking for some revenge. Oh, dramatic zoom in. Oh my god. And throwing it right into the, the crowd. God damn, Logan. Lawsuit. We can't do that. I smell a lawsuit. Now. Oh, oh my god. Carmelo tried to grab it out of his hands. Now throwing it at him. Is that enough to put him away? I don't think so. Oof, kick out. And oh, as you can see it there, Carmelo Hayes has a gash on the side of his head by Logan Paul with the kendo stick. Right back to the outside. Right back to the outside. This is false count anywhere. I'm getting too cocky here. He doesn't even know Melo's there. And, oh, oh. oh. Melo throws him down. Right on the chair. And, Ooh, and a big right hand. And oh, I, oh, no, interesting. Thinking, that was dummy? that was quite interesting. Just barely missed oh, him Logan. there. And now Logan looking to get the roll up victory. Uh, no. Uh, oh, flipping him around. Uh, Is that enough? Two. Uh, no. Out. Oh, just Hello. baiting him out. Oof. Hanging him up on the rope. Now, what's Melo doing here? Up to the top. And Oof. handle smash. Melo getting a little too cocky. Oh. Now, tossing him again. Oh, no. Oh. oh. Logan doing the smart thing. Logan avoided it. Now, oh. Wasn't fast enough there. Nap suplex. Logan's just not giving up. Now Mello tossing him to the corner. Both these men need a rest. Oh! 
face first into the turnbuckle. Mello dodging that. No. Oh. Oh, oh my God. There's the punch. No one's gotten up from it. One, two. Oh, oh. my God. I don't believe it. Logan Paul can't believe it. Now Mello. It took everything out of Mello to do that. What the hell are we going to see? Oh, he psyched him. Oh, oh. just a punch. Oh, my God. Mello, though, ducking out of the way. Now, what do you do? Oh. oh little roll oh. in. Ooh. Oh, right to the throat. Beautiful maneuver there. Oh. Taking the shell off our announce table. What the oh. hell? Went for the chair. Oof. And a knee to the back yet again. Logan getting up. Uh, oh. oh, Logan's moving out of the way. God. Carmelo seems to have no luck with these springboard attacks here tonight. No. And face first off the announce table. Ooh. Oh, psyching him out. Now. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, throwing him down right on the chair. Now just pummeling him. Boom. Now, waiting for him again. Oof. And got a little bit of that clothesline, but didn't fully connect. Hanking him back up. Oh. And Suplex! Oh! And hanging him right over the announce table. Oh my god. Who built this table? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that DDT ah. on the announce table. What is this table made of? Vibranium. That, apparently. Oof. Oh, and that's got to be enough to put Logan Paul away. One, two. No. no. Carmelo Hayes is pissed. He can't believe it. He wants to shoot his shot. Logan getting back in the ring. Logan Paul running away. Oh, oh, avoided it again. Carmelo oh, Hayes having no luck tonight. Logan going to the top. What's he going to do here? And I've been oh. there. Oh. Logan is now, hurting. Carmelo up to the top. Now. Oh. Melo, don't miss. Is that enough to put away Logan Paul for the U.S. title? Three. Carmelo Hayes successfully defends the United States Championship here at SummerSlam. So if somebody gets busted, they get cut and they're bleeding. Is that just a sign that they're going to win? Oh, it's, it's, it's happened. It's happened more than once. I don't know, Tyler. I don't know about all your conspiracy theories here. I don't know how I feel about all that. Theories. No, not really. Not really. We no. Will. We'll be we'll no, the show. No, don't you no, worry. no, 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 no. We're going to talk a lot, of, a lot of conspiracy theories after the show. Don't you worry. I don't want to be a part of it. Oh, you will. I would rather not. Nah, you will. No, okay. no, no, no. After, after we get done, oh my God, I have so much to do. Just <laughs> look at the time, you know? Well, we, we got to get to the next match then. Yep. The next match starts. Right now. All right, your SmackDown, or should I say WWE tag team titles are on the line here at SummerSlam. Your champions, Grayson Wallaby and Austin Theory, defend against DIY. Waller and Gargano starting things off. Waller going right after the knee. Didn't get full full connection of it. And Gargano just folding up Waller like a... Wallaby. No, I don't know if Wallabies fold. I was trying to think of another reference to Dan and but I couldn't think of one. Kangaroo. I don't think they fold either. I mean, like... I mean, like the baby joeys, they like, you know, they like all fold in the pouch of the mother. You know? eh, yeah, but like, I don't, I don't know. Now, Grayson Wallaby working on Johnny Gargano. Oof, on the back. 
Now, what's he going to do? A DDT. DDT. Is that enough? Oh, oh yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, I don't think so, Krebs. Hey, get out of the ring, Theory. Austin Theory guarding the ring. Finally getting out, though. Ooh. Gargano now looking to pick up some momentum. Ooh, ooh, oh, woo. Is that enough to put him away? No. 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 Should I talk? I was... Eh, never mind. <laughs> That's what I thought. I was yeah. going to say, should I talk in an Australian accent the whole time Waller's in the ring? But I started saying it in a British accent, so I just stopped. <laughs> Double D. Ooh, beautiful suplex. Is that enough to put away Waller and Co? No. Look, I got it. One. And Champa be champ. Champa yen. Ah. Is it in the cards for them here tonight? We're about to find out. They're on the card. Well, that's true. Ow. Oh, my God. Huge running knee to the temple. That's going to give Grace of Waller be a headache. Like when he fought the kangaroo. Is that enough to put him away? No. Ah. And Gargano guarding the ring. Oh. Just knocking Austin Theory off. Taking out Austin Hypothesis. I'm not sure that's how it works. Yeah, that's like basically the same thing. And Grayson Waller. Oh, he's got that means they're retaining. Every, every time someone has been cut open tonight, that means... Now the ref sees a rope break. The ref sees it after the one count. Good call by the ref. Good call. Oh, a chop. Champa's not happy about the rope break. But Waller... Just slapping him. Just eating... The, geez, all right, relax, man. Holy cannoli. Champa taking it to Waller right now. Waller needs a tag. Oh. Is this his opportunity? I think so. Oh. Champa ducked under. Ducked down under. <laughs> See what I did there, Tyler? Oh, I saw. Now the running kick. That gives Austin them enough time Therian. to get to Austin Theory. First time in the matchup. What's he going to do? Taking it Pummel to him. Champa. Oh. They kick to the gut. Champa trying to roll out. Rolling underneath the ropes. Oh. Oof. Yeah, Trying to catch him there. Now Theory. Onto the apron. Oh, no, 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 no. Not the uh, bag. No, uh, no. Uh, it's the hardest part of the ring. And Champa just Champa's landed hurting. flat on his back. Champa's hurting. Yep. Yeah. Oh, now again. on his back yet again on the outside this time. The ref calling for both men to get back in the ring. Oh, Champa, though, trying to fight back. Now, man, if that ref would get out of the way. Both men having trouble getting back in the ring. Champa in first. Austin Theory. Oh, 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 oh. the slingshot drop kick. Is that enough to put away Champa? Oh. No. Bunch and oh. Oof. Beautiful arm drag. Now, Champa. Oh, distracted. Oh. Didn't even, he didn't even see it. He didn't even see it. What the hell, Austin? Oh, oh. my God. Now. Oof. And Gargano coming out the gate swinging. Going up to the top. Theory trying to find the ropes to help him up. Going his shot there. Oof. Right to the back of the head. That's going to hurt. Rolling him over. Oh, my God. Bryson breaking it up. Wallaby breaks it up. Damn. Freaking Wallaby kangaroo. Oof. The rake to the back. We got the history between Johnny and Austin here. Oh. Oh, my God, folding them up like I still don't know what folds in Australia. I'm sure they have accordions there somewhere. Yes. Yeah, well, like, I don't know. It's not like an exclusive to Australia thing. Running chop. 
Oof. Johnny getting the crowd fired up. Now Waller struggling to get back to his feet. Now, Johnny. Oh, no. Johnny's oh, no. What are we going to see? Off. Oh, the tornado DDT on the outside of the ring. He's amped up. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. Can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? Waller's got no idea where he's at, trying to orient himself oh. at an elbow right to the middle of the back. That's got to hurt. Is that enough to put a wake race in Wallaby? And no. no. Kick out. Organo and Champa are former NXT Tag Team Champions, so they know what it takes to be champions. But in the same breath, Waller and Theory, your current champions. Bad. They had a stranglehold on those titles for a while now. And a neckbreaker to Gargano. Is that enough to put away DIY? No. No, no, no. Absolutely not. Now, oh, taking out both knees. Now, Champa. No, oh. didn't even see him. Now, Johnny! Ooh. The slingshot corkscrew cross body. Beautiful teamwork there by DIY. We haven't gotten to see a, a lot of teamwork here from Theory and Waller. Could that be a problem? Johnny! Oh! Ooh. Grayson getting out of the way just in time. Snap suplex. Is that enough to put him away? One. One two. two. You see the blood dripping yeah. down his face at that camera angle. Blood, sweat, and tears is no joke. Now, Austin Theory back in. His... Oof! Trying to take out the arm. And he can't lock in the, Gar the Gargano escape. Mark in on the legs. Yep. Not a, not a bad idea. Getting all the limbs here. Now, right to the back of the head. Just talking trash here. Right to the back. Now Johnny. Oh. Oh. Will leg screw. Don't know the proper term for that. Probably leg screw. Now nope, second amount. Oh. Hurricane Rana. Hurricane Rana. He lands flat on his back. Johnny tossing him. Off the ropes. Oof. Beautiful little toss there. Is that enough to put away? No, 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 no. Everyone tonight means freaking business. It is the biggest party of the summer, the second biggest pay-per-view of the year. Oh, Austin, get out of the way. Depending on how you look at it, but I would consider it the second biggest pay-per-view of the year. Oh, so, oh, oh! Realized what he did, sent him into the corner with his partner, but sent his partner flying. You see Champa's not happy about that. And, oh, the strength. The strength of theory. Is that enough to put him away? One, two, no. No. Oh, no. Theory, he's hurting. He's tired. He doesn't know what the hell to do. That's Johnny up. That's what he wants. Now... Do it. Oh. Is that enough to put away Gargano? And one, two, no. no. Theory is pissed. He can't believe it. Theory may be unproven, but it is a proven fact right now that they're mad. And oh, oh, beautiful maneuver there. By Grayson Wallaby. Uh, Johnny. Enziguri. A beautiful Enziguri. Oh. Taking down Theory. What the hell are they going to do to Grayson Wallaby? Tossing him. Oh. oh. <laughs> Sends him careening out of the corner. Now, Johnny. Oh. Is he going for it? Gargano escape. Looking for the Gargano escape. Can he do it? I think Theory's still down. Is he? He did it! He taps. He taps. 
We have new champions! Both tag team titles have changed hands tonight at SummerSlam. What a night so far. And Tyler, we're not even halfway done, buddy. <laughs> we have new done. WWE Tag Team Champions, and they are, they are, they are D. D. Generation I. X. Okay, R Truth. I see a lot of Shawn Michaels in him. Anyway. But. A huge congratulations to the team of DIY. An absolutely well-deserved victory here tonight. But. But, Tyler. But. Our next match is going to be yet another tag team title match. The SmackDown tag team titles are on the line. Or not. Hilarious. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I misspoke. The women's tag team championships are on the line. Shotzi and Becky defend their titles. And that match starts right now. All right, the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships are on the line. Becky Lynch and Shotzi defend against The Way. Do you know The Way? I do. I do know The Way. It's, that ref was too tall. It's Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae. The way. I like that little rhyming scheme there. Yes. Let's see <clears throat> who comes out on top. Candice LeRae and Shotzi starting things oh. off, and Shotzi explodes out of the corner with a jumping clothesline. Oh, and an Enziguri. Shotzi is not someone you want to mess with. That's very true. She's you, aggressive. She's explosive. You name but. somebody else that would be in Las Vegas and on a whim get married. And then an hour later, show up in her wedding dress to wrestle. Oof. Who else would do that? Shotzi would. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know who else would do that. You know why? Because she's ballsy. I can't deny that. <laughs> she said it herself. She's ballsy. Oh. oh. Candice LeRae trying to do anything she can. To not get cut off from her tag team partner, Indy Hartwell. Getting it off the other way Oof. now. Shotzi's in there. Now stomping the leg, and in comes Indy Hartwell. Panda standing next to Indy is like me standing next to you. There's a big height difference. There's nothing wrong with that. And plus, ooh, being tall, kind of overrated, Tyler. I'll be honest with you. You hit your head on everything. Your house is too small. You know. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oof. It's always cold. <laughs> the elevation change. You I know? Mean, I'd, I'd rather be. I'd be a little cold, though. No, but I'm talking like snow caps, kind of cold. I'm, like there's always snow on my head, you know? And it's definitely not dandruff. I don't. I don't. Whoa. Whoa. And Indy oh. with a big clothesline. Is that enough to put away the tag team champs? Yeah. No. Becky was right there to make sure that didn't happen. Now Becky and Candace staring off. Now, oh. Oof. Everybody's getting mixed up in the action. Oh. But yet another clothesline from Indy to Shotzi. Now it looks like Candace, LeRae, mm. and Becky Lynch are going to continue to battle outside the ring. Oh. Now, Indy Hartwell up to the right. middle rope. Shotzi doing the smart thing. Doing the smart thing, rolling out. Indy Hartwell going to follow her to the floor. Oh, looking oh. for a big kick. Spins her around and a big right hand. And, ooh. And what a beautiful, I don't even know what to call that, like a slingshot bulldog kind of maneuver. Potato, potato. Be back in the ring. Shotzi following. Shotzi. Shotzi. Cutting her off back into the corner. Into the corner now. Tag to Becky. In comes the man. Oh. Ooh. Beautiful maneuver. Shotzi sends Lynch flying. Shoulder Shotzi. first. Oh. No. Shotzi's taking down Candace. Now Candace and Shotzi going to battle outside the ring. Oh, maybe not. Shotzi's back up. She did her damage. 
Becky Lynch, though. Is that making out? Oh, what are we gonna see? Whoa. Beautiful maneuver. Is that what? enough to put her away? No. <laughs> Indy kicks out at two and a half. For a while there, it's, Shotzi was in a lot of trouble. Ooh. Oh! Becky Lynch the face first. Oh. And now Shotzi talking a little bit Take of it. trash. Oh! And she gets sent flying to the floor. Oh, big boot sends her back into the corner. When was the last time Becky and Shotzi were in this much trouble? Back in comes Candice LeRae. He's exhausted. Indy taking a breather in the oh. corner for a second. Becky Lynch looking to yeah. take the advantage back. Oh. Crucifix looking for the pin there. It one. It no, rolls out. Indy almost had to break it up herself. Oof. Oh. And then, oh, no. Is he going for another roll up here? Oh, I thought maybe oh. she was going for disarmor, but no. Oh. Oh. What is it? Whoa. Whoa. A wheelbarrow face buster. Oh, some Rey Mysterio stuff right there. Is that enough to put away Becky Lynch, the man? No. No. Becky Lynch is fired up. No pun intended because of her Great hair. Fire. And. Oh, my God. An explosive clothesline. Authority. Yep. Doesn't her. Oh. Oh. Like he thought something, but Candice was a little too fast. Oh, Candice LeRae looking fired up. I'm just waiting for Becky. Becky. Oh, and is that enough to put away the that. champion? One, two. No. With a quick kick out. Well, not quick. It was two. And Candice can't believe it. Ooh. Oh, Whoa. oh, Go disarmor. And now, is this enough? Can this be it? <laughs> no pun intended with Candice. Now. That disarmor is locked. Can she get oh, oh, Candice oh, got out. She slides out. She's got to desperately make a tag. Whoa. Whoa. Hurricane Rana. Indy's in. Oh. Indy into the match. Now. No. Oh. Dragging her down. Throwing her down with authority. Oh. Oof. Trying to stop her from getting out. Little leg drop action didn't quite get all of it there. And uh oh. Oh. Whoa. Becky. Oh. Manhandle slam. Manhandle slam. Can this be it? Is that enough what? to boom? Oh. Candace, stop Candace it. breaks it up instantly. Oh. oh. Down to the floor goes Candace LeRae. What are we going to see? That could have been it. Now Indy into the corner of Shotzi and Becky. In comes Shotzi. What are we about to see? A little headlock. Oh, my Ooh. God. Involved. That's what I love to see out of these two. You always get innovative One, offense. Two. No. no. Becky making sure Candace is down. Now what are we going to see? Ooh. Oh my god, a beautiful maneuver. Now, oh! Candace back out. That's it. Ooh. No! Going for a little stage dive at that point. I think we're gonna call it here. One, two, three. three. And what a beautiful match. What a beautiful finish to the match. Shotzi and Becky Lynch retain the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. Would you, would you call this team the? I don't I don't know how this is gonna sound, but would you call them the 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 ballsy men? Shotzi's ballsy, Becky's the man. I I wouldn't no I wouldn't call them that. I I'd, I'd, call I them I'd call them I champions. I would call them champions. Yes. The ballsy men, I think they're going to have to workshop the name a little bit. Uh, I think they could come up with something better. I mean, you can call them both the spider men because they're the pointing at mm. each other. Just, I don't mm. I think that's copyrighted. Yeah, I don't know if they can get away with that. Yeah. I don't know. If, I don't think we can do that. I mean, they they opened up the multiverse, so this this could be a possibility. Yeah, but I, it's just... Just because the multiverse exists doesn't mean that there's a multiverse. 
with copy, you know, when it comes to being like copyrighted content, you but know I what I'm saying? There could be, and that could be one of the theories we talk about, the conspiracy theories. Oh, so God, not this bullshit again. Two best friends turned bitter enemies. Raquel Rodriguez defends her Women's World Championship against Liv Morgan. Will we watch Liv wing the championship? It's a great question, Tyler. We're going to find out here in just a minute. Well, just a couple of minutes, I guess. A few but. Seconds. But what? I don't know. Just but. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Darn. And Raquel is exploding out of the corner. Going to be no easy test for Liv. Her work is definitely cut out for her. I mean, just look at the size difference between the two of them. Oh, Raquel's got half a foot, if not more, on Liv. Now Liv, I, oh. Liv. Trying to power out, trying to oh. get some explosive offense in here. Knocking her down. Trying to use her speed to her advantage. Because we know that Raquel has the strength advantage in this matchup. Ow. Raquel Working just back. beating her down. They're trying to fight back here. Oh, oh my God! She's been eliminated from the Royal Rumble. No, that's not how that works. Oh, my bad. Oh, right to the head. Liv trying to do everything she can. Liv. Oh Focusing my God! The head. Doing the smart thing. Pretty smart strategy thus far in this matchup, I will admit. Oh, the announced no, desk getting again. used again. Not again. I live going up to the top. Waiting. And oh, oh no. Raquel is not happy. I gotta back up and oh toss my it back down. Working the legs, making sure she can't stand. Oh my god, and again. What can Liv do to get past this? And just this? tossing her down again. Liv's got to pull something out of her arsenal. Elbow to the chest. Liv ain't catching a break here. Liv trying to move to the outside, catch a breather. But, oh my Hang god. The ref's gonna stop oh my the match god. at this point. That's something you don't see out of Raquel too often. Raquel like, just taunting her at this point. Oh. Liv trying to fight back, trying to get oh. back into this. Into the steps. Into the steel steps. That gives her a second to breathe. Oh, what the hell is she gonna do? The Queen of Extreme. <laughs> no, not this camera guy again. Oh, God, this guy. We got to get him out of here. God, Raquel's getting right back up. Raquel will not stay down. And, oh, Raquel just pushing her out of the way. Dodging oh. it, basically. Oh, my God. One clothesline's just not enough. Go Two. Second one. Well, I'm making a hat trick. And three. I don't even think Raquel's gone for a pinfall yet. Oh, my oh. God. Just a vicious big boot. My God, she's just toying with her at this point. Yeah, you know, I think part of her must feel bad now, but oh. Well, that's going to change her mind. Oh, face first into the mat. Liv trying everything she can, but Raquel will not stay no. down. Roll up. A roll up. Is that enough? No. Didn't even get a one. Oh. And Liv has no idea what the hell she's got to do. And Raquel gets right back up, dude. It doesn't make any sense. Liv going to try this. Wow. Why you don't even bother? And no. Oh. Slapping her back. 
And, and a crossbody once again. Is that enough to put Raquel Gonzalez, Ra yeah, Raquel Rodriguez, Rodriguez. away? No. no. Able to get a two count that time, but. Now, oh. now Raquel trying to take a breather. And, oh, oh, my God. Right on the back. Right on the lower back. That's got to hurt, man. Oh. oh, we're pulling the hair and slamming her down. This is David versus Goliath. Throwing her back in. Now, oh. Liv. Liv trying to get another clothesline. Trying to get something going here. Kick right to the shin. And. Oh! Knee to the face! Oh my god, is that enough? Think she can do it. One, two. No. Oh. What the hell does Liv Morgan have to do? Gotta finish her. Finish her. Oof. I think that has to be it. There's no way. There's no way in hell. Do. Oh. oh my god. The quicker version of Oblivion. If that's what her finishing move is called, I don't know anymore. I mean, what the hell else can Liv do? Now, oh! How about the face? Oh. No! Oh, the power bomb! <laughs> and is that One, enough? Two, it's no question. Three. Raquel Rodriguez retains One hand. the Women's World Championship. Who's going to stop her? I don't know if anyone can, to be honest with you. Um, just an absolutely dominant display. Raquel Rodriguez. She's had that title for a while, and I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. It would take Raquel to beat Raquel. Just like Thanos used the stones to destroy the stones. The only difference is she won't get decapitated. True, true. But a hellacious, dominant title defense here by Raquel. But Tyler, we've got more matches coming up next. Rhea Ripley looking for another women's championship reign here tonight. Can she do it here at SummerSlam? Can she dethrone Nikita Lyons? Nikita, very dominant as champion, winning that championship back at WrestleMania. And she's held it all the way until now. Not a bad reign thus far. We'll see Rhea Ripley, definitely her biggest challenge oh. yet. Nikita comes out swinging. Now, oh. But Rhea is pissed. Rhea's time. Oh. Trading shots with each other. Oh. oh. Punch for a punch, kick for a kick. Eye for an eye. Oh, oh. my God, what a roundhouse kick. Nikita might be out. That can't be it already. One, One. two, no. Ah. And almost knocked her, knocked her lights out. At that point, the lion would sleep tonight. Oof. Oh, Nikita rolls out of the way. Just banging her head on the canvas. Oh, my God. Never seen anyone manhandle Rhea Ripley that way. Oh, you just did. Oh, taunting oh. now. Yep. Yeah. Oh, trading back and forth. A chop. Who's going to oh. come up? Who's going to come out on top in this exchange? Uh, mommy is always on top. We'll see. And, oh. oh. And, Rhea reversed it. Oh. The slap fell. Oh. oh. And a headbutt. The cheap there. Oh, Another my. That kick. roundhouse kick again, adding insult to injury. Nikita just getting up. Refusing to stay down. That's the will of a champion right there. Oh. 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 Knee to the gut, knee to the gut, oh. knee to the oh. gut, knee to the gut. 
even breathe at that point. Is that enough to put away? One. Rhea Ripley, the Eradicator, no. Ow. And throwing her down. Stomp it, stomp it, stomp it, stomp it, stomp. Oh! Oh, just tackling her and down. And a big tackle. Rhea taking her into the corner. Now, whoa. Oh, what are we seeing here? Rhea going up. What are we about a, to a see? Oh. A superplex oh. to the center of the ring. Oh, that always hurts my back. That's got to be enough to put the lion to sleep. One, two. No. Ah. Go through this all the time, but every match, these wrestlers wonder what they have to do next. There's always an element of strategy to a matchup like this. Oh. Boot right to the face. Oh, oh. Nikita. Nikita. Oh. Sweeping the rug out from under her. Working the leg, working the arm, working the chest. Now what's she thinking? Oh. Oof. Hanging her up on the rope. Yeah. Big clothesline. Beautiful. Punch it, I punch. Now, ooh. sends Rhea Ripley out to the floor. Nikita just won the. Oh no ball. way, no way, no way! Oh, having ah. second thoughts. What have done big damage. And ooh. And a beautiful jumping clothesline. Nikita doing the smart thing, not going off the top, could have hurt herself. She's getting a little hyped up here. She's got to focus on the Eradicator. Rhea Ripley can strike when you least expect, kind of like, like that. that. Now, Rhea. Oh, oh, face first into that ring post. She got a face full of Slim Jim. And, oh, not again. Not again. Oh. Snap into a Slim Jim, more like smack into a Slim Jim. You know ah. what I'm saying? Rhea up to the top. Oh. oh. Get having the wherewithal to move. Back on her down. Hammer fists at this point. Nikita's getting desperate. It. Ooh. Ooh. And a beautiful missile drop kick. Is that enough to put away Rhea Ripley here at SummerSlam? One, two, no. no. Just powers out. Calling for her to get up. Rhea's all dazed. Nikita wants to end this. Oh, oh. my. Oh. Oh. oh, Rhea reversed it. Are we, oh, oh, is this it? Riptide? Riptide oh. connects. Are we about to crown a new champion? Is that it? One. One. Two. Three. Six. The lion sleeps tonight. The lion has been tamed here at SummerSlam. No one has ever blocked that kick from Nikita before. Rhea found the answer. And now this proves Mommy is on top. I can't believe what we just witnessed. Nikita Lyons, that kick has done her so well. She's won her so many matches, and Rhea Ripley blocked it like it was nothing. Nikita was an amazing champion, but now the ball is in Rhea's court. Tyler, I have a question. What? Does that mean that we can now call Rhea Ripley the Lion Tamer? I don't want to get sued. I don't want to be on the list if you catch my drift. Hmm. Yeah. We, we can't do that for uh, copyright reasons. I don't know if I believe any of that. Well, you know what we could do? You know what we could do? What's that? We could head to... What it will be the co-main event, the first of two world championships. 
Okay, I'm down for that. I think it's time. Let's get into it. That starts right now. All right, guys. Your co-main event is finally here. Your absolutely dominant world heavyweight champion, Gunta. Gunta. Defends against Braun Breaker. Fresh from NXT. He's only been on the main roster for a couple of weeks. And he set his eyes on the world title right away. And over the past couple of weeks, he absolutely destroying, destroyed Imperium to send a message. That's why they're not out with Gunther tonight. Exactly. And Gunther is not happy about it. That's the sight. That's the sight. We're going to see Braun with that title. Mark my words. We're about to find out World Heavyweight Championship action. Gunther defends against Braun Breaker. Let's get it underway. Right meow. Bro, oh my <laughs> god, both men running right at each other. Braun getting the first upper hand though. Headlock. Ooh, and a straight jab right to the forehead. But Gunther with an enziguri. This match is gonna be insane, I can already tell. Send hard into the corner. And a kick right upside the head. Going for the quick win. Is that enough? Going. No. Kick out at one. Ring Ganal versus the badass. That's basically the irresistible force, meaning the immovable object. He, that's not Billy Gunn. That's Braun Breaker. It says badass right on his singlet. Billy Gunn isn't with this company anymore. Yeah, you got nothing to say, because I'm right. Well, his singlet also says Breaker. Shoosh! Anyways, Gunther with the reversal there. Yeah. Going for a suplex. You know what, oh. Tyler? Normally, Braun Breaker has a 50-50 chance of winning this match. We're not doing that. <laughs> but he's a genetic freak, so his chances go way up. But Gunther is the immovable object. So his chances go way down. So where do they sit right now? Yeah. I don't know. Breaker just sliding out of the way with these. Oh! Oof, the strength slamming Gunther face first. No. Oh, and already calling a rope break. Like, Eye on the ref. His feet were under the ropes. Good call by the referee. Oh! Slamming him. Oh, running shoulder tackle. Gunther gets right back up. Ooh. Throwing him down again. Gunther right back up to his feet yet again. Ow. Oh! And a wrestling slam takes him down that time. Is that That's enough to put away there. the world champion? No. Immediate kick out. Yeah. He's in big trouble, but he kicks out at just friggin' zero. Oh! Oh, and a wrench in the arm. Ah. Oh, no, no, no. This is not looking good for Braun Breaker. Trying to break Braun Breaker's arm. Break, 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 breaker, breaker. Breaker, breaker. He's trying to break Braun Breaker's arm. Over and out. Oh, what a Yuranagi. One. Yeah. Oh. No. Kick out of one. Kick out of one yet again from Braun Breaker. Oh. We went for one of his looking, shots. Whoa for a big chop and I I think the retaliation strike broke opened his, up Gunther broke his face Gunther is in trouble Oof. Oh, okay I spoke too soon a little flying nothing there the flying nuns is that a no. thing or something I'm not 100% I, I sure I swear I've heard it somewhere before I don't know I don't know, I don't know. The corner. And now, what are we gonna see? Putting him up. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. What are you. Oh no. Oh no, not a German. from the top? Not a. Oh my god. A full Nelson slam from the top rope. What are we gonna do? That's gotta be it. No. Braun Breaker kicks out at two. 
It's got to roll out. Got to take a breather after that one. I'm sure that knocked all the air out of his lungs. Hunter waiting. Running start. Oh! oh. Breaker. Oh. Breaker. Oh! Right in front of the announce desk. Oh. oh. But Gunther retaliates with a clothesline. Oh, right, come on! I didn't even realize Braun's up. Oh, oh. jumping neck breaker. Ooh. Just to break him. But ah. Gunther with a oh. big chop. Gunther breaking the count. Trying to break the count here. Oh. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. Not the power bomb. No, 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 no. Power bomb right into the table. What the hell? If this were in the ring, that'd be it. Get him back in the ring. Is he giving him too much Gunther. time, though? I think it's all over. Either over, no. he gave him too much time. Oh. Oh. He gave him too much time to recover. What the hell has gotten into these men? Oh. oh. We're trading blows, everybody. Yep. Oh. 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 Now I think oh. now I think oh. Braun is busted open too. Something's gotta give. What the hell? Oh! Punch to the gut. And now I'm Braun. About to get him. Right over Just his head! Him. Wait. Is Should, Braun. Is he going for the spear? Is he gonna hit oh. the spear? Braun Breaker! Is that enough? Oh, not even going for the pin. He's pissed. Going, going up, up to the, the top. top rope. What the hell is he gonna do from up there? Now. Oh. 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 Woo. Gunther. Oh, the backbreaker. Now, Gunther. I think he wants the power bomb. No. What is. Oh. Is that enough Ooh. to put Braun Dude. Breaker away? Oh. No. <laughs> Gunther's mad. Oh, he's pissed. Oh. Is he going for the power bomb? Is he gonna do it? Oh, and just parading him around the ring. Oh no! Oh no! 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 no, no, no. no. To the outside of the ring. Oh Not my God. Gunter! What the hell? Braun, just give up, man. What the hell do we just see? Destruction. There's no friggin' way. How the <laughs> hell is Braun Breaker getting up right now? How the hell? Pure adrenaline. Something, something, Braun Breaker. No. And again. No one. Gunther's just gloating at this point. Oh. Even Gunther's backing up. And, oh. No. And a headbutt. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Line. Didn't fall. No, no rope. rope break. Good call by the ref. Good call by the referee. Gunther. Out to the ropes. Oh. Yep. German Big German suplex. suplex. And Braun back to his feet again. <laughs> Braun what is not the giving hell? Up. Not turning him over. Pinfall. One. Two. No. What the hell? We may be see, seeing the beginning of the end of Braun already. Another, Another German. German. Going to toying with him at this point. Ron can get barely, yeah, yeah, blah, no. barely back to his feet, but oh, oh just picking him up with ease. Well, but he don't hang oh. him up on the ropes. Ron, whoop, oh, now what the Gunter. hell? No, oh, oh, Ron, oh, he got going to up the to the top. 
A little Gunter's slow there. The Gunther's ended. dazed. Oof. Now, Braun. Are we going to see the beginning oh, of the end? He can't do it. He can't. Oh. The military oh. press. Oh. Is that enough? No. no a rope break. Rope. <laughs> what the hell? Braun's pissed. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. no. Oof. Big, stiff clothesline. Oh. oh. Braun's shaking it off. No. These men going back and forth right now, blow for blow. Now a suplex. Oh my god. Now, but they're going to the top. Oh. Oh. Ron Breaker just kipping up. He's calling for the end. Here we go. Second time. Can it work? Military press. No. No, a They're second so freaking lucky. rope break. What the hell? Don't turn back up again. Oh, oh my god. Ron rolling out. And what the hell is it going to take for either oh. two of these men to stay down? Big meaty claws. Neither of these men have any quit in them. This match might go for the long haul. I don't see quit in it, any of these guys. And, no. Ugh. Third One times time. the charm. Let this be it. Can it be? Third One, be in the charm. Two, three. Hit it. Freaking did it! In his first ever pay-per-view debut, his first ever pay-per-view match, Braun Breaker has done the impossible and defeated the world heavyweight champion Gunta. Gunta. And what an insane victory it was! No quit in either of these men. Neither of these guys should be disappointed with the performance they put on. I said Braun was going to walk out with that title. There it is. What Hold it a up. damn Look match. At that view. What a damn match. You're going to see that view for quite a long time. I think so, too. But, Tyler, if you can believe it, we've got one more match. Very ironic. We have one. Because the next and final match of the night... Here at SummerSlam is for the WWE Championship, Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. That's going to be an insane matchup. Your main event starts right now. The Scottish psychopath, Drew McIntyre, looks to dethrone Roman Reigns here in the SummerSlam main event. Can it happen? Will it happen? Should it happen? We all know what happened at Clash at the Castle. We'll see what happens here tonight. History repeat itself. Who wants that title? He wants it more than anything. Too bad the ref won the title. No, I don't think that's true. She she held it up. Well, I think that's just her job, Tyler. I, I mean. Here we are once again. Oh. Roman scouted him. Oh, that Drew scouting. Drew can't let the emotions get the better of him. That's where Roman thrives. And suplex. It, oh no! Nope, Roman drops down. Oh, back of the knee. Roman's picking him up. Oh. oh my God! Just slamming him face first into the mat. What's Paul Heyman doing? What the hell? I gotta get him out of here. Removing the turnbuckle already. Can't say I'm surprised. Oh. That's Oof. And is that enough to put away Roman? Oh my, was that a, what the hell? Did Paul Heyman break up the pin? 
I think he did. Ref I think the ref caught that. The ref going over to talk to him. No. Oh. Got the leg. Ref fixing the turnbuckle pad, I think. Good job by the referee trying to keep this match fair. Oh my god, Paul Heyman, relax, buddy. Paul Heyman. And, oh. You know, normally Ref seeing good eyes there. a manager's got a 50-50 chance of getting ejected. But Paul Heyman is a oh. dirty bastard. <clears throat> so his chances go way up. He's Paul Riss the Walrus. Now Roman. Roman fighting out. Taking Drew and Oof. into the barricade. That lower back of Drew McIntyre right into the barricade. Oh no. And Oof. Right on the apron. Hardest part of the ring. Roman breaking the count. Oh. And Drew again. He right to the gut. A little gut buster action. Now tossing him back in the ring. Now in comes Drew. Oh. oh. Oof. Whoa, what was that? Nice little combination there from Reigns. Out in the corner. Oof. Oof. Knee to the face. Big knee to the face. Drew. Taunting him at this point. Trying to get back to a, a vertical base here. But Roman. I think he's cut. Oof. It was cut. Those big right hands from Roman busted open Drew McIntyre. Oh. Ooh. Oh, all right. Shoulder tackle sends Reigns flying across the ring. The strength of McIntyre tossing Roman halfway across the ring. Just ragdolling him. Oh. And again, just running him over. What is he, Leland from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game? Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman. A distraction again. Again. Looking for a distraction. Is this enough One. to put him away? Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh. Now, Drew. Going for the suplex again. Roman and fighting out of it again. A now, second time's the charm. Up. Oh. One. Handful of tights. Is that oh, enough? Oh, no, oh, that was real close, though. Two and seven eighths. Oof, neck breaker. Three quarters. Glasgow's oh. kiss. Now working on the arms. Is that enough to put Roman away? One, two, no. No. And Drew is not happy. Saying what's he got to do? Either. I got a little smack to Paul Heyman too. Oh my God! Snapping the neck right on the knee. One, two, mm -mm. kick out. And oh, Roman with the reversal. Superman, Superman punch. punch. Is that enough to put away McIntyre? No. One, One, two, two. no. Uh -huh. No, no. No, no. No, 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 no. Nah, nah. LA Knight's not in this match. No. Oh. He's not. Elbows right to the stomach. Oh. Oh, no. Trading blows. Who's gonna be the first to give? Oh, I guess it's uh, I guess it's Drew. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. And Roman. And then Drew. Drew. The, the big face. boot. You see, Paul Heyman's what? pissed. Paul Heyman's Dude. pissed. Been an angry walrus. Roman rolling to the outside. Drew taking a breather once again. 
I'm starting to count. Oh, and a suicide <laughs> dive from Drew McIntyre. Drew just yelling at him, telling him to get up. Oh, oh. Roman. Oh, I thought he was going into the barricade. Or not the barricade, excuse me, the ring post. Oh. And again. again. Oh, oh, the distraction from Heyman. That can't what be the good. hell? Wait a minute, Roman. Drew doesn't realize it. And Spear. That's got to be it. Drew's going to get screwed There's out of it again. no way. Two. No. Oh. Not many people kick out of the spear. Drew McIntyre getting up. Roman sending him back into the corner. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's pissed. He's big mad. He's pissed. Oh, oh. my God. The forearm smashed right over the head. Dar. Dar. I'm just grazing his face. Dar. Blood just going down. Now, oh, hanging him up. Oh, hanging him over the top rope. What the hell? What the hell are we going to do? Jumping clothesline. I'm mean, just circling him like a shark. The shark smells blood in the water. He is bleeding. Roman. Oh, oh, Drew. Go another. Another got buster. Trying to get all the wind out of him. Oh, and you yeah. tossing him halfway across the ring yet again. Drew thinking up. Oh, Paul Heyman's back up. No, oh, no. Telling him he better not do that. Oh, oh. my God. But the distraction again. Oh, with a roll up. One, two. No. <laughs> Drew kicks out again. Roman sending him. No. Drew countering. Jumping neck breaker. Oh, the kip up. Are we going to see? Claymore kick. Looking for Claymore. Two, one, and Claymore, Claymore. kick. Is Two, that enough to, cover. to put away Roman oh. Reigns? Two. No. no. Oh, ho, ho. What the hell? The resiliency. Roman going back out again. Drew following him out there. Oh, this is a freaking war. Oh, Oof. the steps. Gut first into the steel steps. Drew really focusing on that abdomen. Makes it hard to hit the spear. Knock all the wind out of him. Roman back in. And we finally be seeing the end of Roman's reign. Drew McIntyre. Look at the top rope clothesline. Could Roman finally be in trouble here? Oh, oh, my God. And Paul Heyman's distracted the ref. What the hell? Oh, he's mad. Drew knows it. Oh. He's in Paul Heyman's face right now. What the hell? Now, Roman stopping him. Roman defending Heyman. Drew was about to just get his hands on Paul Riss the Walrus. <coughs> and this is the same old song and dance we've seen for how many years with Heyman and Reigns. He's going into the canvas. Count of six. Oh. Roman beating the count. And Drew, a little disoriented, but he makes it back in oh. the ring. Now. Another suplex. Oh, finally works. Who wants something here? Then no, oh, and a second claymore. Oh, that's got to be enough to put Roman One, out. That's got to be two. No, no. What the hell, dude. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. You're wondering what he has to do. Drew is pissed. Roman trying to take a breather. No. no. 
And again, the distraction oh, no. from Heyman. Not again. God damn it, Paul. Damn it. Paul, no. Roman's up. Drew doesn't know it. And, and oh, a spear oh, again. Oh. And right, that's got to be. Broken dreams. That's Roman it. retains. Reigns retains. Old bullshit from Paul Heyman and Roman Reigns. I'm not even going to tell you, PG, because it's true. Both of these men a bloody mess. Roman I'm once again weaseling sick his of way. It. Roman I'm weaseling his way to keeping that title. Sick of it, Tyler. I'm weaseling sick with of the it. walrus. <sighs> What a damn shame. Talk about a party pooper. The biggest party of the summer ends in a less than ideal way, for sure. <sighs> Something's got to be done. What a way to take the wind out of your sails, you know? Weasel with the walrus. But, guys, this has been the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. We're glad that you could join us. Of course, before we sign off, we have to give one last thank you to Ram Jam for the song Black Betty. It's the official theme song of SummerSlam. You can stream it now on Spotify or get it wherever CDs are sold. I love that song. It's a great song. It fits super well. What? What? What are you doing? What? Any anyway, little beads there? Yeah. When did you change into that, seriously? Tyler, I had it on the whole time. No, we... Since the beginning. Since I walked in, I walked into the arena in this outfit today. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I did. The only thing is, they made me put these stupid pants on. I was wearing, I was wearing my shorts, my beach shorts. They said, hey, you can't go out there like that. Hey. Well, they, they wouldn't have seen you wearing the shorts anyway. I, that's what I said. That's what I said. Well, that's why you shouldn't have even bothered to wear them then. I'm not this, agreeing with you. This was enforced by the anonymous Raw General Manager. He's my boss. He signs my paychecks. Is it Hornswoggle? Is it still Hornswoggle? I, it's anonymous. I don't know who he is. If I knew who he was, I would tell you all. But I don't. I think I think SmackDown. SmackDown's going to need a GM. I think SmackDown's going to need a GM because Roman keeps getting away with all this. I can give you Hornswoggle's number if that's I don't. I don't want it to be Hornswoggle. Why not? It's not him. All right. Well, I tried to help you. Tried to get you in contact with someone. But, guys, we'll get this situation all figured out one day. But, until next time, guys, have a phenomenal night.